Hello everybody and welcome to the Cinepax YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get these awesome free sound effects inside of DaVinci Resolve and any program for that matter. But today we're going to be going over some tips and tricks on how to use audio and this free effects inside of DaVinci Resolve. So let's get started. To get these free packs you're going to want to head over to Cinepax.com, the free section of course, and add the sample sound effects pack to your cart. From there put in your email, none of the other uh, things or information that you put in there matters uh, it's just your email that's where you get the download link and from there you'll get the free pack and you'll be ready to edit when you download it you're gonna get this zip file right here go ahead just double click on it and make sure that you drag all of the sound effects outside of this folder anywhere that you want whatever folder to organize everything and from there once you have extracted everything you can import them into DaVinci Resolve now I have already done that right here you can already see that right here inside of my media tab here and they are all uh, WAV files, by the way. Uh, but once we have them all downloaded, we are ready to start editing. All right, so today we're going to be, <laughs> it's quite funny, but we're going to be using an old film that I made uh, with some friends, probably on not the greatest camera, but it was an anime live action chess battle. Um, and as you can imagine, this requires a lot of sound effects. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, all I have right now is the music, uh, which is kind of edited in. Uh, there's no audio from the actors or any other sound effects in. So let's try to spice it up with this free pack. So if I go ahead and play this through, Here's this opening sequence right here. Now, obviously, we have to warm this up with a little bit of ambient sound effects and some blast here. So looking over here at our effects pack, um, I probably want to start off with a riser of some sort. So let me grab this riser here, play this through. There's a nice amount of buildup. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this in, all right, and play this through. Now, when I drag this in, the first thing that I notice is it is only coming from the uh, left channel in my headphones, all right? So that is because if I look over here, this is a stereo um, soundtrack, and our uh, clip here is a mono soundtrack. Um, so what we want to do to fix this is right-click on our track right here. Now, if you drag this into a new track, most likely you won't have this problem. But we're going to go ahead and just change this over to, oh, not add track, uh, change track type to mono. And once I play that through, now it's coming through both headphones equally. Perfect. All right. So I want this buildup to occur right around here, I want to say. All right. Perfect. But I think it's a little bit too short for me. So what I can do if I wanted to, I could right click on it. Let's change the clip speed and maybe increase it by almost 200%. And let's play that through. Ooh, nice. I like that. I like that. So if I play this through. Perfect. That sounds amazing. I like that a lot. Um, now, once you do that, obviously, it's going to change the tone of your audio. So if you wanted to, you could come back over to the pitch over here and mess with these a little bit. Now, I disclaimer, I am no audio expert. So um, I would like to simply just pull both of these down a little bit. Um, and that will kind of compensate a little bit and give you some more of a, a deeper tone if you play that again, a deeper pitch. As you can see, um, now we have a really deep pitch instead of the high pitched one that we had by bringing down our tones and scents. Um, if you want to learn more about that, by all means, I encourage you to go uh, do some research on uh, how each of these sliders individually affect the audio. But for now, this works for me. Now, after this happens, I want to add a little bit of a impact here. So we have this hit right here. So let's go ahead and play this through. Perfect. So this is a little bit more ambient here. So if I go ahead and drag this in here, um, and it looks like I'm dragging this onto another stereo track, as you can see by the number two. So let's change this back to mono. All right. And let's play this. Whoops. Needs to, needs to line up. Right. Let's see, so just for the sake of, let's see, that's where this comes in. So what I'm gonna do is just press M to make a marker. So now, seeing this marker, I can line up my sound effect perfectly timed with it. Perfect, all right, nice. So now we got two little things going on here. All right, so now we have a nice little bass here. Now, to finish this up, um, I might cheat a little bit, and why don't we borrow a sound effect from another pack 
um, which is our fire effects pack. Now this is another pack you should go check out. Um, if you buy the full size pack, it also comes with sound effects. It mostly includes uh, fire overlays and stuff, but I might borrow one effect here, like a fire burst right here um, from this pack. And if we play that through, there we can just drag this one in, and I think that will kind of finish off this shot if we play this in. Perfect, I like that a lot. Nice, that's really nice. Um, and let's go back to our free pack section though and see what else we can do to spice things up. I know there's another part over here where um, Albert, who is this man right here, um, picks up the chess piece here. So we could add in a little alien race car to just kind of, let's see, when he picks up the chess piece. Perfect, all right. And then to build up, as you can see, if we play this through, the music stops here. Now, this is because he says a very important voice line here. So why don't we build up and make this a little smoother? If we listen to it, it's really sudden right now. Yeah, there's nothing there. So first thing that we're going to do, let's take in our other riser and use this. So perfect. Let's drag this in, put in our riser and let's let's see. Actually, I don't want to use the riser there. I want to use the hit instead. So let's bring the hit over and let's play this through. Okay, let's see, let's find where the audio ends right here. Line it up with where the audio ends. So I want it to hit when the sound effects, uh, not the sound effects, the music ends. Perfect, there we go. All right, and then the music picks up here. All right, so what we wanna do is now let's use this riser. I like the second one again. Uh, let's use the second one instead. Um, so let's slide this in, play this through. All right, I am perfect. All right, now what I wanna do is trim the end of this uh, sound effect, that way it doesn't show up anymore. And then also another tip for you guys, how you can edit these. So to edit the volume of these, uh, if you extend this out, so make it larger, hold down the alt button on your keyboard and if you find this slider right here you can press and click to make a keyframe once you make two of these here you can actually drag these around and notice how it updates live so I'm gonna bring this down that way it kinda cuts off easier and if we play this through perfect I'd like it to be a little bit more over here and maybe let's bring a few of these things bring it forward a little bit let's go like right there uh, and let's see, move this around. So if we play it. And finally, why don't we add another hit? Of course, you can't go wrong with hits. And if we wanted to, we could go ahead and bring the tone down a little bit. That way it has more of an impact. And bring it over here. Perfect. All right, so let's play this whole sequence through. Nice, all right, I like that. I want this to ramp up its volume just a little bit more though here with the riser. So why don't we go ahead and make a keyframe here and here. And then what we can do, we can slide this up. That way it gets louder and play this through. Perfect, and last of all, trim it so it, start, it ends with the music. All right, nice. Let me just also drag this out so we have a little bit more of a fade. A little bit right there. Perfect. And last, bring up the hit a little bit more. I think what I'm doing is I'm bringing the, let's bring up the tone actually. I think what I'm doing is I'm cutting it too, too much so you can't hear the hit. There's the hit, perfect. All right, nice. All right, I think you guys get the idea here. Now, for the case of like a music video, you can also, I always personally like to add some sound effects to music videos on top of the music. I feel like it helps you immerse in the edit a little bit more. Um, so what, like for something like this where we just have a cut, I don't have any music right now, but what I'd like to do is like, I would add something like this ambience here. If you drag this in here. 
perfect right here with this guy. Um, and then I would bring in like a riser again. Let's use our second one this time. Plays through. Perfect. And what I would do is probably drag this in, hold down. Let's see, actually for here, we can probably just hold it, bring out the slider, maybe adjust the curve of it so it's a little more smooth. Um, that way we have a soft edge here. And let's see, actually what we could do so we could bring it out this way and let that kind of screeching sound fade. All right, perfect. All right, nice, nice, nice. And to finish it all off, let's add another hit, of course. And to spice up our hit a little bit, let's see, what kind of, what kind of sound are we getting with the hit? Okay, I'd like to get a little bit more of an impact here. So if I open something like the equalizer, um, that also does the same sort of thing. Um, you can see here's our frequencies. So the lower frequencies here are deeper and the higher frequencies are obviously higher. So if I wanted to bring up like the higher pitches, I could grab one of these sliders and basically bring up the higher pitches. So if I press this, play this through, you can see the impact sounds a lot more higher pitched. Um, and if I bring this down, now you're just getting, now it's cutting the higher frequencies and only letting the lower ones through. So if I play this through, now we just have a beautiful ambience ending here where it just transitions and we have nothing but very dark ambience and basic, this could be like an ending to a music video or something like that. And I think that kind of wraps it up. All right, before I wrap up today's video, I wanna show you guys what is included inside the full-sized pack here if you guys do decide to purchase that. If you do decide to purchase this, use the code SAMPLE15. That'll give you 15% off your order, so don't make, don't, don't buy it without that code. All right, so anyway, the full pack comes with a lot more things. You got some ambience as well. So as you can see, we had the freeway overpass that was included in the free one, but you also get like downtown effects as well as parking lot sound effects just for your kind of like uh, urban uh, or kind of cityscape uh, uh, recordings. Um, but other than that, there are a huge amount of hits, as you can see, uh, like gunshots even here, as well as metal hits, you can see right here and then just kind of normal hits for like cinematic feels and just big impacts as well. Uh, risers, of course, as you can see, here's a visual of just how many come in the pack. You got some sci-fi risers, some slow risers, uh, some larger risers like this. And plenty more different effects here as well um, and ambiences plenty of different things that you can kind of mess with and just sort of add to your footage and your films to spice them up. The last thing of course is the instrumentals. Now that's exclusive to the full pack here. These basically are just kind of like just music uh, that you can use and add if you're in case you're uh, lacking some sounds or some background music that you need to add to some of your videos. You can use that here. I personally like the medieval trap here. So make sure to go check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, leave a like. Other than that, uh, have a great day and happy editing.